Hello, my name is Amanda Lynch, and I'm a second year MBA candidate and Center for Digital Strategies MBA fellow at the Tuck School of Business at Dartmouth College. I'm very pleased to welcome Adam Cahill, Senior Vice President and Director of Digital Media of Hill Holiday, who is joining us today as part of the BRIT Technology Impact Series. Welcome to Tuck, Adam, and thank you for being here. Thank you. So I wanted to start talking today about some of the things that are going on with mobile technology and how it's affect affecting traditional advertising. So in particular, I'm wondering, how does the advent of mobile technology affect your business? And in particular, how are your clients shifting their advertising dollars? Sure. Um, you know, for the agency business, I think the last five or so years, um, it's really been a story about how do agencies stay relevant when marketing and advertising is changing so quickly. Um, and broadly speaking, what we've seen is a switch from um, advertising that was about interruption and really based on mass media and television in particular, um, to the rise of consumer control. And so you're trying to figure out how do you get to people when they can choose what they take in and uh, choose not to consume as well. Um, and you know, mobile is really the latest um, extension of that same trend. So we saw from traditional to digital and online advertising, um, over the last couple of years, you've seen the explosion of social marketing, which was something that agencies had to get their heads around. Uh, and I think what's happened, honestly, is that mobile has, has kind of snuck up on us. So it was something that um, people predicted was going to get big for years and years. Um, and then really with, with the launch of the iPhone, uh, the marketplace changed very quickly. Um, and, and I think for, for agencies, it's, it's a two-part thing. You know, our, our job is to create uh, campaigns that are effective for our clients, um, but then it's also about uh, staying relevant ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, and so what it means for me when I think about the team we have is how do we get up to speed on mobile uh, very quickly so that we can bring our clients programs that work for them. That's what I think it means for the agency business. Um, in terms of the second part of the question around ad spend, um, I think uh, if you look year over year growth for mobile, it's, it's going to be huge because you're starting with such a small base. Um, but I think that the advertising spend is going to come slowly um, as people just start to experiment and figure out what works for them. Um, and I'd actually anticipate that big ad dollars aren't going to shift to mobile um, in the very near term, I'd say maybe two to three years out. So along those lines, it sounds like you are of the camp that these new technologies, like the current popularity of mobile apps, might be here to stay. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think um, what's interesting about the iPhone and then the whole app universe is that's not something that anyone saw coming. Uh, it wasn't on the you know list of predictions, but the that device and then the apps really changed how people thought about mobile. Um, and to me, apps fit into another sort of general trend and theme in advertising, which is being useful. Um, so again, if you go back to this idea that you can't interrupt people and you have to give them things that are of use to them, um, mobile and apps in particular fall squarely in that. And um, maybe something better comes along, but for now, apps are a great way for brands to do something that people actually will invite into their lives. Um, so. With all these new trends in digital technology, mobile apps, how do you just keep your clients focused on delivering a core brand message? Yeah, um, I would say that's really um, one of the central challenges for agencies, in particular for digital agencies or people that are within uh, traditional agencies like myself um, that have a focus on digital. So um, on the one hand, things are changing so fast um, so, you know, within mobile, I think a good example is Foursquare, which launched a year ago and now has 600,000 users and probably is going to, you know, continue to grow at a, a really, lot of funding. <laughs> at a lot of funding. Um, but that didn't exist a year ago. So how do you balance bringing your clients something new um, and demonstrating that you get where the marketplace is going, but also filter out all of the things that don't necessarily make sense and that are flashes in the pan? Um, and I think you know what it comes down to is is good instincts, mm -hmm. good judgment, um, looking at the trends that you think are going to um, stick. But it's that's really one of the hardest parts of the job, and that's I think what separates people who are great at it and agencies that are great at it um, from those that are just doing things to win awards. 
And along those lines, do you find your clients being more flexible and experimental with these new technologies? Um, I would say yes, with a caveat. So I think that uh, most clients uh, firmly understand that the world has changed mm -hmm. and that part of moving forward is experimenting. Um, but I think sometimes experiments can be very narrow and really focused on measurement. So um, it's, it's not always the case that things that are the most effective are also the most measurable. Mm -hmm. So people are very willing to do tests, but if you think about a mobile test um, and, and what a measurable outcome would be, um, you know, just to come up with an example, I mean giving someone an ad as they're walking through the mall, which is kind of a classic example, you know, that, that's measurable. Um, it's probably not terribly scalable. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's easy to get people to experiment, but to get people to say that this is a core piece of how you do business is a longer term evolution. And what advice do you have for MBA students hoping to get into the advertising industry and agencies in particular? Um, so I'll answer that sort of separate from mobile and that conversation. Um, but I think again, if you go back to the central theme of advertising changing so much and so rapidly, um, you know, there's a couple of things that come out of that that I think MBA students are really well situated for. Um, first, there's a big shift from advertising being based on sort of gut decisions and, and moving towards fact decisions, fact-based decisions. Um, and I think people that understand how to tie business goals to real measurable outcomes that drive, you know, results um, and then work with people who can translate those into great ideas are extremely valuable. The second thing is, um, you know, one of the, the main things that, that I sort of learned in business school is kind of just a way of thinking um, about organizing complexity in frameworks and in ways that people can understand and then act on. Um, but the idea of just strategy, of just simply how do you look at a landscape where there are so many things you could do and decide what you should do is a skill that I think is uh, lacking in the business um, and one that I think MBA thinking and training um, is a solve for. Great. Um, well, Adam Cahill, on behalf of the Center for Digital Strategies at Tuck, I'd like to thank you again for speaking with us today. I'm sure our listeners appreciate your thoughts and insights. This has been Amanda Lynch for the Center for Digital Strategies at the Tuck School of Business. Thank you. Thank you.